What's up guys? Back from Texas, TX2K was a blast, but today I want to talk to you about some tools I picked up to make my 2JZ swap a little bit easier. Check it out. While I was out of town, I ended up buying a bunch of tools. After I'd put that hitch on, it was extremely fatiguing to bust those bolts and tighten them. And after that whole experience, you know, with the corrosion and everything of those bolts, they just, they don't want to go in or come out easy. So for years, I've always used just ratchets and manual tool, you know, hand tools like screwdrivers, ratchets, nut drivers, whatever. But, um, and I've never actually gotten into power tools, surprisingly, considering the amount of work I've done on cars. I know they save a ton of time and they're super convenient so I've heard great things about Milwaukee so I'm just gonna go out I wanted an impact and I wanted something to basically replace my ratchet I was looking at a big compressor for a while like a 60 gallon but I'd have to run 220 they're expensive basically and I wanted to use it for power tools rather than you know using my hand ratchet so after doing a little more research I determined that I could just buy some electric power tools that would actually be as good or better so basically let me show you guys what I picked up and and why I decided to go with them. Okay, so here is the main thing I want to talk about today. I decided to go with the M18 Fuel because they're brushless, they're going to last forever, and I got a really good deal on it. I also went ahead and picked up, without the box or anything, this uh, quarter inch hex driver. Um, really compact. I really, 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 really love how small it is. I'm just thinking to myself, you know, when I'm up under the dash and I, you know, I need to get to those screws under there or whatever, you know, there's so many tight, small, hard to reach places that I'm always like, you know, busting my balls, trying to turn a screwdriver or a ratchet. And it's just like, this could be so much easier if I had a power tool. So, um, that's kind of what this is for is the more, uh, lightweight stuff. And I know that these are actually pretty powerful. I think they're like 1100 or more inch pounds. Like I said, this is really nice. Came with a uh, M12 battery. This is going to go along with, you know, any other kind of lights or anything I decided to buy with Milwaukee. So I think that's so cool. The, uh, battery compatibility across all these tools is just like super, super cool to me. And before I jump into this, this is one tool that's already showed up, but this is just a uh, pistol grip blow gun has a long tip here so you can really get into crevices and things like that so just another one of those things that just makes your life that much easier i think this is like a five dollar thing let's open this up and see what it's all about i'm excited before we open this guy let's uh let's flip this around and see what we got going on so basically this includes a 3h impact wrench half inch high torque impact wrench 700 foot pound tightening and a 1100 foot pound loosening torque. This is going to be so nice. I have never used anything but my little cobalt half inch impact on air. That thing definitely doesn't keep up with a lot of um, big nuts like crank bolts and things like that in the past. So this is the solution. This is gonna be so nice. And then just a little um, LED work light. I think this is like a, you know, like a $20 light. So real simple, but um, you know, really nice that it comes in there. And then we also have the two batteries that come with this and the charger station, which will charge my M12 battery as well as the M18 battery. So again, just really nice compatibility across the whole system. And this isn't really a new tool by any means. I think it came out a year or two ago, but it's new to me, so. Super excited to make use of these things. Even comes with a nice bag. Kind of forgot about that. Wow. That is nice. Okay. There we go. So we got some instructions okay here is the light very nice nice little uh rubber push button there single led light yeah that's kind of cool that'll be nice when you're under the car and you need a little bit of extra light okay and then here's our batteries um i was wondering about the size of these you know when you're throwing this thing around under the car or whatever i was curious how big these are yeah they're not small by any means, but then again, you know, like I said, I have the um, little quarter inch hex driver M12 guy, if, you know, if I need to get in those tight spaces. So not really worried about the size of this considering um, I do have that. And nice thing is this thing comes with two of them. 
so I don't know. Again, for the price, you get such a good value with these uh, kits. It was hard not to, to pick this up, so. All right, and for the goods. Oh yeah. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, so there's our, uh, here, let's, let's just demonstrate here. Bunch of trash. So there's our M12 charge. Yeah, that's easy enough. And I also ordered two more batteries and a single M12 charger for that as well, so we can charge two M12 batteries at once. If you want to charge these, just throw them on there like that. Very nice. Here's the 3 8 oh, that sweet. Yeah, that's smaller than I thought. That's about... Yeah, it's about the same size as this guy. This one's a brush motor. This one's brushless. You know, I don't really know that I'll take huge advantage of the brushless, but it's nice to have. So there's kind of a side-by-side -side comparison. So, you know, if you, you know, with the battery on here, I mean, yeah, that's pretty, pretty big weight down low. So if you're trying to get somewhere tight and this might interfere, but, um, you know, not a big deal for me. And now the big, big, big Bertha. Oh wow, that's not really as big as I thought it'd be. I mean, definitely, definitely large, but still, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's definitely top heavy, but this is a big boy, 1,100 foot pounds of brake uh, loosening, loosening torque. I love the lights on the front of these too. That is one of the very nice things. I I bought a uh, Black and Decker drill last year. The light on the front, man, that's so helpful. So knowing that all these guys have that light is just another added bonus yeah that's awesome so that's about it that comes in these boxes overall this is a tremendous addition to my arsenal of tools like i said i've never had any power tools or impact wrenches or impact drivers or anything like that this whole build i'm diving into i'm trying to be more efficient with my time and efforts and uh, resources so this is what that's all about is making sure you have the right tool for the right job and i think this milwaukee set the fuel line and the brush motors too i mean everything they're just people just don't say enough good things about them so i ended up going with milwaukee over you know the dewalt or the i don't know bosch or um, makita or, you know whatever i'm hoping these serve me well the form factor of these guys are just really nice in hand I, i've never really used anything else so i don't know any different but so far i mean i'm impressed i mean these are these are very you can tell very heavy duty tools and so i want to make a little addition to this video a couple days later got some more tools in the mail that i wanted to show off and i didn't have them at the time so first thing is these little picks i know this this don't seem like much but just another thing i always wanted i've always used this you know replacements like a little flathead screwdriver say instead of these things spend the five dollars and i got these and they're gonna pay for themselves in the long run but anyways i'm just gonna throw up in this drawer also, I know I was showing you guys all these Milwaukee tools, and I had one in the mail. It wasn't quite here yet, but it just arrived today. Check this out. The electric ratchet. Now tell me that's not going to be freaking useful. I mean, you know, there's been so many times where I just ratchet and ratchet and ratchet, and I literally spent like five, 10 minutes ratcheting on one single bolt. Don't know how I've gone so long with that. As you notice, I'm making use of my pegboard here to hang all my Milwaukee uh, power tools, which is super nice. It's just working out really well. I'm keeping it off the, you know, off the bench. Awesome storage solution for those. What's also cool is that the charge stations you can buy, you can buy these charge stations with both M12 and M18 battery charging capability, whereas you can also buy just you know, standalone, which I did, M12 battery uh, chargers and M18 battery chargers, which is fine because I wanted this because I know I have multiple M12 batteries, so I went ahead and uh, picked up one of those, and I will definitely, definitely be taking um, advantage of those. And one more thing, I finally got the uh, wiring harness for the Lexus to plug in the uh, four-way uh, trailer light hookups. Say you want to run a trailer from U-Haul. This is what you use a four-way. Seven ways are more for like setups with like trailer brakes and more serious trailers, which I won't get into with this thing. So 
that's here. That's gonna allow me to move the Z up here finally by just plugging in a trailer into the Lexus. So make sure to subscribe, hit the like button on this video. Make sure to stay tuned for more 2JZ build updates. I know it's a slow start to the 2JZ build, but trust me, we're getting there. I will be working on moving the Z in today and tomorrow. So hopefully we will have a car where the Lexus is right now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you guys next time.